Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most quintessential, unforgettable, and just plain fun songs from the California born band Smash Mouth. I got a holiday in my head. Number 10 Come On, Come On. Can you listen to the opening sounds of this song without jumping to your feet? This instantly upbeat tempo mixes finger-flying keyboards with supercharged drumming in classic Smash Mouth style. If you haven't already heard this explosive chorus, you've likely not been acquainted with Deuce Bigelow, Dude Where's My Car, or the multiple other movie and TV appearances it's made. Like many Smash Mouth tracks, this one lyrically differs from the positivity that its sound implies. Its passive narrator seems to be casually observant and unsure of both the world around him and his appropriate place in it. But even if you don't want to think too hard about the meaning, you can still rock out to this banger at your summertime beach party. Come on, come on, stop. Number 9. Your Man You might not associate Smash Mouth with a touching love song. I don't know why I'm with you. But with some delicate palm muted power chords and a mellow softness in Steve Harwell's voice, they can give you just that. Your man's flawed raconteur sings about the happy perplexity that comes with being with a woman who he doesn't deserve. I play guitar all night long, and I know hundreds of songs, and I'll just play them all. It paints a simple picture of romance, but one that feels honest and personal. Like the ballad's content, Harwell's vocal performance is subdued and sincere. I tried to warn you, but you said, just play dead. It's easy listening that nestles in our eardrums as cozily as the story's protagonists amorously fit with one another. By mild contrast, the music video may not end happily. But, as Smash Mouth fans know, the band loves to pepper their music with some delightful juxtapositional surprises. Number 8. Hang On Life is hard, man. Sometimes you've just gotta dance your way through it. This optimistic number off of Smash Mouth's fourth album confronts the world's worries with a catchy melody and a reliable chord progression. Things are getting weird. Things are getting tough. Nothing's making sense, but you keep on looking up. Hang On encourages listeners to persevere through the trials of the responsible world and to do so with a smile. So gather around, I'm here to say, you'll never make everybody's day. The effectively lovely repetition is pop music at its most refined, and the accompanying video might be the best thing to come out of the live action Cat in the Hat. This is one of Smash Mouth's best showcases of their ability to instantly cheer up listeners. And the hopeful message is just another reason we'll miss Steve Harwell's positivity. Everybody just hold on. Number 7. Pacific Coast Party Writing a great party song can be the gateway to immortality. Get your motor running, California in a state one, Pacific Coast Party. Just ask Jimmy Buffett. Kiss, and even LMFAO. Harwell and the gang tried their hand with Pacific Coast Party, a celebration of the beach party and the chill West Coast lifestyle. It's not a lyrically or melodically complicated piece by any means, but it is catchy enough to do the job. You don't have to mind proper time, mother nature. Get yourself in line, take your time. You wouldn't think that a classical string arrangement would complement a clean electric guitar so well. But somehow, it creates the sensation that we're just floating on waves. The hit could be heard from many a boombox in the early 2000s, and even made its way into Not Another Teen Movie and Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure. No discussion of Smash Mouth's best is complete without this one. Number 6. Waste Uncharacteristically melancholy for their style, Waste is the result of Smash Mouth strumming the acoustic guitar and turning to their sensitive side. When I was carrying you. The 
the track is a steadily building reflection on the painful end of a loving relationship, as its narrator grapples with all the regret that comes with it. I'm up and up the floor. Written by guitarist Greg Camp about his marriage troubles while traveling, Waste is heartfelt, emotionally raw, and real. And that is all supported by Steve Harwell's unique and skillful singing voice. It's proof of Smash Mouth's understated range as artists. And it's a great listen for those who only know the band's radio hits. Number 5. Why Can't We Be Friends? Like many of the greats in rock and roll history, Smash Mouth's style came from listening to artists they loved. Their roots include psychedelic rock, ska, R&B, and funk. So they turned to Why Can't We Be Friends by the funk band War when they wanted to do a cover song. Their version stays true to the original by featuring a horn section, a beat reminiscent of reggae, and a political message of harmonious equality. It turns up the tempo, however, making it something of a swing number. Sometimes I don't speak right. Throw in some mild guitar distortion at the two-minute mark, and you've got quite an amalgamation of styles. It shows they can pay tribute to a classic track while making it their own, something we'll see again a little later. Number 4. Then the Morning Comes as a follow-up to their biggest hit, Then the Morning Comes staked claim on the Billboard Hot 100, and it still holds up today. Guitarist Greg Camp was inspired by Groundhog Day and the endlessly repetitive lifestyle of being on tour, so he composed the song about the recurring cycle of performing and partying. The way that you walk, it's just the way that you talk. Each piece of this recording could stand on its own as an unforgettable hook. The verse, the chorus, and that rockin' bridge. And when it comes, it moves so slow. Pretty much all of the Astro Lounge album is a stellar lineup, but the melodic nuances of Then the Morning Comes impressively make it one of the most notable. Once again, check out the accompanying video for some uniquely appropriate Smash Mouthian antics. And every single day is just a Number 3. I'm a Believer Shrek fans to your places! You might associate this with the ornery green ogre or perhaps with the monkeys and their 1966 recording. You might further know that the song was originally penned by Neil Diamond. But Smash Mouth's take might now be the most widely known version. Love was out to get me. While the happy enthusiasm of Love at First Sight remains the theme, the boys add their signature combo of keyboards and guitar to inflict the track with revitalized energy. The instrumental tone sounds like we're surfing in the 60s, but with a modern twist. Then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. This version climbed international charts in New Zealand, Spain, and Australia. And time seems to have only flowered its popularity. It's one of the best and almost most popular songs in Smash Mouth's repertoire. No, Number 2. Walkin' on the Sun Perhaps there were bigger hits, but there are few as well respected as Walkin' on the Sun. It ain't no joke, I'd like to buy the world a token. Even those who aren't fans of Smash Mouth will cite this as the group's strongest song, and it served as their superbly successful debut single. 25 years ago, they spoke out and they broke out. As they love to do, Smash Mouth juxtaposes a joyful sound with heavy and serious content, with its lyrics highlighting frustrations about social injustice. But even if you're contemplating the big ideas, it's impossible to do so without bobbing your head. So don't delay, act now, supplies are running out. There are hints of rap, ska, and funk, all mixed with just the right level of rasp in Harwell's voice. So don't delay, act now, and rock out to this modern classic. You might as well be walking on the sun. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Everyday Superhero a rousing get-out-of-bed-and-conquer-the-world anthem. I'm just your average, ordinary, everyday superhero. Can't get enough of you, baby. Another great cover, just as popular as the original. I can't get enough of you, baby. 
story of my life. Not the social distortion one, but just as good. The story of my life. The story of my life. Keep it down. Proof that they love to experiment with their sound. Who needs to think? You are my number one. They sure know how to rock a reggae love ballad. You are my number one. What? I said you are my number one. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, All Star. Was there ever doubt? I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Smash Mouth's All-Star was a pop cultural phenomenon in its time. Love it or hate it, its presence among your eardrums was inevitable in 1999. It's a cool place, and they say it gets colder. You're bundled up now, wait till you get older. But it also charted globally and got the group nominated for a Best Pop Performance Grammy. But no big deal. Accolades aside, the song itself has an exhilarating beat, rousing rapid-fire lyrics, and an immediately uplifting sound. While you might think it's superficially about fame, listening closely might suggest to you a different message that success is actually a state of mind. Hey now, you're an all-star, get your game on, go play. We are all capable of becoming superstars in the frame of our own lives, as defining greatness is a matter of individual perspective. But if you're just listening casually, rock on. This one broke the mold. Only shooting stars break the mold. Did your favorite song make the cut? Which ones did we miss? Let us know in the comments, and let's give a loving shout out to the great Steve Harwell. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.